Hello, and welcome to What's New in ID8 Software for the June 2022 release. Thanks for joining me today for this short update video. This video is designed for existing ID8 Software customers and covers the new features and benefits found within the June 2022 release for ID8 Software solutions for Revit. This video features updates to ID8 Explorer, ID8 Sticky, ID8 BIMLink, and ID8 Style Manager. Due to the large number of enhancements and features for ID8 apps and ID8 automation, we have created separate videos to showcase those features. ID8 apps contains an exciting new tool to assist with reviewing 2D annotations and clashes. ID8 Annotate joins the other productivity and efficiency tools within ID8 apps. Meanwhile, ID8 Automation 2.0 is a robust release with new features and benefits. Please make sure you review both these specific videos for a more detailed look at the impressive enhancements within ID8 apps and ID8 Automation for the June 2022 release. In order to increase the speed of model navigation and search within ID8 Explorer, we have added several useful features to the right-click contextual menu. An often requested user feature is the request to expand or collapse the results tree. ID8 Explorer has always included a powerful search engine. This release has been enhanced significantly with the ability to search not only on the category, family, type, labels within the tree, but also on the content contained within 2D annotations such as framing tags, door tags, and mechanical equipment tags. This should prove a powerful tool in quickly isolating the elements that you are looking to find. We've significantly enhanced the way that ID8 Sticky deals with scaling between multiple monitor displays that might have different text scaling settings. To minimize any project impact, this new scaling display is off by default for any existing projects that contain stickies. When creating a new sticky within a project in Revit 2023 that contains no existing stickies, the new scaling method will be on. This scaling method is controllable via the settings within ID8 Sticky on the main dialog. In order to provide even greater access to model health information, the ID8 BIMLink Health Check folder has two additional library links included for HC-ID8 types and HC-worksets. Worksets are now available to be easily renamed and you can quickly see the number of elements assigned to each workset as well as the worksets that are unused. You can also review which types have not been used in the model by exporting HC-ID8 types. Detail groups and attached detail groups have also been added to the health check samples as well as several other link definitions. One of our most requested datasets is the document issue record dataset and Excel macro for creating an Excel spreadsheet for all available revisions on the Revit sheet and not just the most current revision. Our Excel macro template has now been updated to include the numeric, alphanumeric, and custom revision numbering settings. Existing customers may request the latest dataset by emailing a request to support at id8software.com. In order to provide better data management for Industry Foundation Classes Data Exchange, we've added several new library link definitions as well as added support for the newly built-in IFC parameters on Revit elements. Giving you greater access to more of your Revit data, ID8 BIMLink now has the ability to report on shared or non-shared project parameters as well as global parameters. This can be quite useful to review parameter settings However, more control over parameters is included within our ID8 Style Manager that I will speak about momentarily. There are many improvements to ID8 Style Manager, but the biggest enhancement is the addition of parameters and global parameters on the main ribbon menu. Let's take a quick look at some of this new functionality. You will notice parameters and global parameters to the far right of the main ribbon menu within ID8 Style Manager. When selecting the Parameters option, you'll notice that we can filter on three main parameter groupings, Project Parameters, Shared Parameters, and Key Schedule Parameters. As an example, there are also additional groupings such as Project, Family, Hidden, and Orphaned under Shared Parameters. As with all other ID8 Style Manager selections, you can choose to analyze a specific set of parameters to understand their usage within the project. Similar to other ID8 Style Manager selections, you can also choose to separately analyze parameters that may be used in schedules. If you have 50 schedules or less within your project, this analysis will be automatic. 
For projects with more than 50 schedules, I can select the Schedules checkbox and choose to analyze. This will change the two question mark symbols in front of the parameter name to only one question mark symbol for each parameter. Now I can review why I have two parameters named A. I can analyze them both and I realize that one is not used and can be removed safely. I can review key schedule parameters and decide that I would like to rename a specific parameter to lowercase. I can also select global parameters from the main ribbon menu within ID8 Style Manager. Since I don't have a large amount, I can choose to analyze them all and then sort by the number of uses. I can safely delete the two global parameters that are not in use. I can then review all the elements that are using the partial closet width global parameter and then decide to rename it. Reviewing and managing parameter usage is now easy and powerful with ID8 Style Manager. Some feature updates impact every ID8 software solution. As many of our customers are transitioning from the traditional FlexLM licensing technology over to our newer cloud network licensing technology, we have continued to enhance this licensing option. We've made significant improvements to better support virtualized environments. If you are using cloud network, you'll want to ensure that your entire company is updated to this latest release for all supported Revit versions. Be sure to review our online help files for detailed information on how to make the most of ID8 software, including detailed information on many supported workflows. For more information on ID8 software, including online training, recorded videos, and upcoming events, visit us online at id8software.com. For any questions on features, licensing, or support, please contact support at id8software.com. For any questions related to ID8 software pricing, contact your local sales partner or email us at sales at id8software.com. Be sure to download the updates for all ID8 software solutions. You can check for updates within the product or on our ID8 software website. We continually strive to listen to our customers and make updates to our software that are meaningful, efficient, and solve customer problems. We hope you enjoy these improvements to ID8 software for the June 2022 release.